and welcome to this Windows Media Encoder tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to convert movie files into WMV format. This compresses them down considerably but still maintains quality. Okay, so when you open up Windows Media Encoder you should see this screen. Now um, I've tried convert file before but it, it went through the whole process and then I didn't get the file at the end so I'm not sure if that will work for you. Please comment if it does work. I'd, I'd like to find out um, if it does work. But this way, I'll be showing you how to convert them using the custom session. So click um, custom session. Okay. Um, and now this is the window. So what I'm going to be compressing is this video here called Jelly. So um, in sources, in the properties we want to ch get um, the video from a file then you click browse and you find the video well, that's the um, file I um, I want to encode the jelly video and I see that's 400 megabytes it's very short and I've uploaded this video to YouTube if you want to see it um, that's very big and it's not a very long video so now what we're going to do is choose output now we want to make this into a file video file so now you click browse and you choose a name. So it's going to be jelly.wmv. Um, you can limit it by a certain size if you want. Sometimes I've found when you limit it by size, it actually cuts off part of the video. So that's not always the best option. Here you can just choose the quality. Let's just choose the top one. Um, video size. You can crop part of the video and you can resize it. Now, if you want it to be great for YouTube, um, you should use a 16:9 ratio, which they use. So here's an example: 640, 360. This is not the best quality, but um, it's the right um, aspect ratio as that YouTube uses. And then in attributes, um, you can do in pr in processing. You can do more like deinterlace footage if it's not been deinterlaced. Now you just click apply and then you should see um, when it's done loading you should see this this is the right ratio now you just click start encoding and now what it should do is it should it, you'll see it running through the video um, here as you can see um, it runs through the video um, this can sometimes take a lot of time if you've set high quality um, I mean this isn't the best quality but it will still take a um, little bit of time. The easiest ones are when you do little videos like 320, 240. Um, so you just have to wait for this to finish. Um, you might want to just skip this part of the video. I'll try and keep on talking. Um, but it's best if you just skip along a bit of this video. So you'll see it's encoding and it has all the information here. Um, so it will um, it will just <laughs> run through the video so I'd recommend you skip further on to the video um, I'll tell you what time you skip to when this finishes and you'll see down here the it, it's creating the new file already so this one's taking quite a while I think it's because the original video size was quite big um, now the jelly starts coming out. There we go. Um, so don't know why it's not even halfway because I'm sure it's already halfway through the animation. But anyway, um, so you just have to wait for this to finish. So I'd recommend you just go off and do something rather than just sit by the computer waiting. Because if you've got long videos, it can take a while. Um, I've had videos like 1.5 gigabytes that have not been compressed yet. It compresses them down to about 40 megabytes or something which is really good. Um, so <laughs> let's just wait for this to finish. Um, so you can see any of my animations in the animation playlist I've got on my home page. This one you will find on there um, which I created in Blender. Um, when I was just playing around with jelly and I thought I'd try having the jelly in the cup and it worked quite well. 
um, well, at least this isn't taking as long as it took to actually render the animation. For any of those of you who um, have used Blender before, you'll know that these videos can take quite a while. So, um, about just over three quarters of the way done. Um, so you just have to wait for the video to finish. Um, you can also, with Windows Media Encoder, capture the screen, and there are um, it can convert like this. So it's it's very useful. It's completely free. Um, I'll put a link up to it. Right, it's nearly done. If you're watching this, then you should have just skipped. But I did tell you <laughs> this is taking a while. Um, so should be done soon. Um, 57%. Well, this has taken three minutes. I've been talking a long time. Um, 93% of we go. It's nearly done. I think this is taking a long time because it was such a big file, big file size, hadn't been compressed at all. Sometimes these can actually be really quick. I find with most of them. Um, and now you will see it's created it. And if we play out for file, then it should. Um, it will just open up the file. And there we go. Thank you. Um, for watching this Windows Media Encoder tutorial by Orange Moon Network. Hope this you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.